Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not likely to see the Queen on her 96th birthday despite leaving the US to travel to Europe for the Invictus Games due to the schism he has caused in the family according to a royal expert. Her Majesty will celebrate her 96th birthday on April 21, when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be in the Netherlands. The Invictus Games will take place in The Hague from April 16 to 22 after being delayed by the pandemic. Harry founded the Games to aid the rehabilitation of injured or sick military personnel and veterans from across the globe, by giving them the challenge of competing in sporting events similar to the Paralympics. Prince Harry stepped down from royal duty in 2020 and lives in Montecito, California, with his wife Meghan Markle. Robert Jobson, co-author of Diana, Closely Guarded Secret, told the Mirror he does not think Prince Harry will visit, the reality is it is highly unlikely, given the schism he has caused in the family. On Monday evening, a spokesman for the Duke and Duchess confirmed Meghan will join Harry at the Games in The Hague for the first few days. The Invictus Games was where the couple chose to make their first public appearance together almost five years ago. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been denied a special perk traditionally afforded to British royals staying in the Netherlands, palace accommodation. The trip will see the couple meet participants of the International Sports Competition, which was founded by former British Army officer Harry in 2014 for wounded service members and veterans. They will also be followed by a film crew at the event to capture footage for the upcoming Prince Harry and Meghan Markle Netflix Netflix documentary. Unfortunately, it looks like the Sussexes won't be able to get any B-roll of royal residences for the highly anticipated film. The Dutch royal family reportedly won't be rolling out the red carpet for their British-American guests, due to the private nature of their visit. Harry and Meghan will not be given an audience with Netherlands King Willem Alexander nor will they be hosted overnight in one of the country's three royal palaces. The couple will instead have to find alternative accommodation, likely a swanky five-star hotel, and make do with common a company. The Duke and Duchess have also been forbidden to travel around the Netherlands with armed guards, in accordance with the EU country's strict laws on concealed and open carry. Dutch police spokeswoman, Anna Sophia Posthumus, told The Sun, No, in the Netherlands only government officials, police, military personnel, etc., are allowed to carry weapons. However, according to Di Davis, a former head of royal protection at Scotland Yard, the couple will still receive top class security during their stay. The truth is, I have no doubt that he will be protected, in the Netherlands, whether he takes his own team or whether the Dutch authorities give him some kind of VIP status, he said. The news comes shortly after it was revealed that Prince Harry threatened to sue the Home Office over its refusal to allow him to pay for government security in Britain. The Duke, 37, has claimed that he feels unsafe in his native country, after being chased by photographers on his trip to Princess Diana's statue unveiling at Kensington Palace last July. A spokesperson for Harry confirmed earlier in March that he would miss a memorial service for his late grandfather Prince Philip, but that he hoped to visit the Queen soon. It is not known whether Harry will visit the UK and see his grandmother while he is on this side of the Atlantic for the Invictus Games. Side of the Atlantic.